So I'm starting with the first ingredient. I have here some chopped onions, some chopped tomatoes, some turmeric powder, some red chili powder, uh, some chopped green chilies, some uh, ginger garlic paste, some chopped coriander, then I have cumin seeds, some uh, chaat masala to sprinkle on top, then I have some boiled and mashed potatoes, then salt to taste and of course you need eggs, some boiled eggs and basin. So these are all the ingredients when we need for the recipe. Along with this we need some water to make a batter of this uh, basin and uh, some oil to fry. So this is it. To begin with, I'm going to make a potato mixture. I have added here about one teaspoon of cumin seeds to um, two tablespoons of hot vegetable oil. The seeds are done. Now goes half a cup of chopped up onion. And I'm going to fry the onion till they turn golden. Along with the onion, I'm going to add a little bit of salt just to ensure that the onions are getting soft quickly about a quarter teaspoon of salt you can see here the onion has turned nice golden to this now I'm adding about a teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste and I'm going to cook the ginger and garlic paste till the raw aroma is gone ginger garlic um, paste is done there is no more any raw aroma of ginger and garlic now to this I'll be adding the dry spices. I'm adding here one tablespoon of red chili powder and about half teaspoon of um, turmeric powder. Give it a mix. Now goes about a tablespoon of chopped up uh, green chilies. Now adding green chilies and um, red chili powder is absolutely to your taste. Add accordingly, more or less. I'm going to cook this masala for about a minute and then I'll add um, the mashed up potato to this mixture. After a minute, add the mashed up potato. Give it a good mix. And along with the potato, I'm adding about a quarter cup of chopped up tomato and some salt. Add salt according to your taste. And I'm going to cook uh, this potato mixture for about 5 minutes on medium heat. Do ensure that uh, you are continuously stirring this mixture otherwise it will stick to the bottom of the pan and then it will start burning. You can see here this mixture is ready after 5 minutes. Finally to this I'll be adding some chopped up coriander and that's it. This filling or this uh, potato mixture would be ready. About a handful of chopped up uh, coriander. Give it a very good mix and that's it. This mixture is ready. Let it get completely cold before we start making the chops. For the batter I have taken here 1 cup of basin. And along with one cup of basin, I have taken here about a quarter teaspoon of cooking soda. I'm going to keep this batter very simple. Now go salt, add salt according to your taste. And about half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and a teaspoon of red chili powder. I'm going to add little by little water and make a batter of the chickpea flour or basin don't go overboard with water otherwise you'll have a very thin um, batter and then it will not coat the chops well so add little by little and simultaneously give it a good mix till you get a nice thick batter this is the right thickness for me I like the basin batter a little thicker but you can actually add a little more water and make it a little more thinner but for me this is the right thickness I like a very uh, thick coating on the egg chops 
so I'm keeping it a little more thicker so this um, chickpea batter is ready the next thing is to form the chops the potato mixture is quite cold now so that I can handle it take a handful of the mixture flatten it on the palm of your hand and then just coat the potato mixture all around the um, boiled egg I like this potato um, chop a little big with a very thick layer of potatoes and a thick layer of chickpea batter but if you don't want a very thick layer then you can obviously add a very thin layer all around the boiled egg and you can make the batter also a little more thinner just like the way you make alu chop or potato bonda the same way you add a little more uh, water to the, uh, to the batter and make it a little thinner here uh, I have big chunks of potatoes in this potato mixture and this goes absolutely fine since I'm making a very um, thick layer but if, if you want to uh, have a very thin layer then obviously you need to ensure that the potato mixture is well mashed. So this is it. This recipe will make 6 um, egg chops, big sized egg chops. I'm going to form the egg chops like this with the rest of um, the potato mixture and boiled eggs. Now take the egg chop and drop it in the chickpea batter and just coat it really well. Now coat it well and drop it in the hot oil. I have taken here enough vegetable oil and I am going to fry the egg chops on medium heat till they turn golden and brown. Egg chops are quite golden and brown now. I'll take it out and then we'll proceed to the next step. Yeah, it's nice golden and brown. I'm going to switch off the heat and take the egg chops out. Egg chop or fried egg bondas are ready but I'm not going to serve it like this. I'm going to make it almost like a chart. After taking out the chops, I'm going to cut it into half. You can see here there is a thick layer of the chickpea batter and the potato mixture. Now break it apart and the next thing is to add the ketchup and the chopped tomatoes, onions and the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of tomato ketchup on every piece. You can add more or less according to your taste. I like it with lots of tomato ketchup because this is going to give that nice tangy and sweet taste. It gives nice taste and makes this recipe look amazing because of the bright red color. Yeah, the ketchup is done. Now the next thing is to add some roughly chopped uh, onion. If you want, you can uh, you can finely chop the onion and you can again add it according to your taste more or less. Now goes some chopped up tomato, again up to your taste and if you want you can chop it really fine. I like it in big chunks so I have kept the you know chunks quite big. Now some chopped up uh, green chilies, a handful of uh, finely chopped coriander leaves. Now, and now to this I am adding the final ingredient and that's chaat masala. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon of chaat masala. Again, you can add it according to your taste more or less. So finally, this dish is ready. You have this amazing chunks of potatoes, a thick layer of chickpea batter, then the boiled eggs and potatoes, um, onions, coriander, everything together, almost like a chaat. So this is ready. Egg bonda or egg bonda chaat is ready. This is a very delicious recipe. Do try this and let me know about it. We will meet next time. Till then, bye-bye.